Hello and welcome to Zanger Folkman's 19 Differentiating Skills series, where we discuss the 19 differentiating competencies that make the difference between good managers and extraordinary leaders. I'm Brianna Corin. And I'm Jack Zenger. And today we will be talking about leadership agility. We've experienced a lot of rapid changes, <laughs> one could say, in organizations over the past few years. So, Jack, how do you define leadership agility and why is it now, more than ever, one of the most important skills for leaders to have? Well, there's just been a lot of research about the fact that this, this willingness to be versatile, flexible, uh, that, that there's something about the ability to respond to the real situation you face rather than to what it used to be or how things mm -hmm. ought to be. Uh, so it, it's that ability to kind of adapt that seems to be really key for the success in today's world. I would define you know, agility by maybe three, three key elements. One is being agile means that you're kind of reasonably quick, that you don't just sort of do it ponderously and slowly and take forever and, you know, overanalyze things. So I think it, it begins with kind of being willing to, be willing to jump onto things mm -hmm. and increase your speed. The second thing is, is it's about flexibility in terms of, is this the right solution for this specific situation mm -hmm. and this specific group of people? Because situations change and sure. people change. <laughs> and sometimes leaders get stuck in doing things in a pretty consistent way. But agility means I will really consider what's unique about this situation, what's unique about the people I'm dealing with. Hmm. And the third element I think of agility is that uh, being truly agile means that you're, you're constantly striving to get better, that, that the trajectory is a steady, steady upward tilt. Yeah. And so I think it's the mixture of those three things that, at least in my mind, uh, defines agility. So what are some behaviors individuals who want to build a strength in this particular skill of agility? What can they do? I think it means, you know, many of us have a natural response to things. I mean, there are some leaders who are very uh, consensus building, you know, building camaraderie and being building teamwork and then there are some leaders who instinctively tend to be more directive and you know taking charge and yeah. kind of giving people directions and orders and i think the research that i've seen is that there's a time and place for both of those yeah. and i think that the final thing is that there's i think there's a real link between you know between agility and and optimism and, and positive mm -hmm. being positive so I think the, the ability of the leader to kind of interact with people in a way that says, rather than what's, what are the constraints, what you, what you can't do, that the most effective leaders are, are very focused on what's the opportunity, what's the maximum, what's the, yeah. what's, what's the upper reach that you could, you could aspire to. And that combination of, of looking for what's possible rather than what's permissible. Hmm. Well, thanks for those insights, Jack. If you're interested in learning more about leadership agility, we have a lot of resources on our website at zangerfolkman.com. You can go to our insights library and get different podcasts, leadership studies, webinars um, to help you build this very important skill.